Hey everyone, I'm sick. It's my first time being sick during TSW, so things are a little bit different because I used to just take paracetamol or ibuprofen to suppress the pain but I don't want to take them so I reached out to one of the nutritionists I know and, and I asked her what natural remedies are there to relieve headaches and muscle pains and stuff like that and she said to take magnesium and put peppermint oil on the temples so that's what I did I went and bought that online and did like a same day delivery because I just didn't want to go out so yeah that's what I that's what I did I'm in bed my whole body is just heavy and um and I have a headache and I'm aware that sometimes when you have an infection you get sick um but at the moment i don't have any oozy areas they're all crusty and dry so i don't think they're infected and i always bathe in dead sea salt and apple cider vinegar so i think that's helping with um preventing the infection so I hope it's not an infection anyways. My boyfriend's gone away for work for two days and well the chance to get sick on one of those days. So I'm, a, I'm home alone. I messaged my family that I was sick and my dad offered to come over and he made me a soup. So it was really nice and I'm so grateful that he came over to help because I was literally dying. Good morning. So, thankfully, my temperature has gone down. Um, but I'm still a little bit under the weather. But <clears throat> it's gone so much better than yesterday. Like I mentioned yesterday, for my headache, I didn't want to rely on like medication, like Panadol and Nurofen. So I asked a nutritionist and she said to take magnesium and I don't know if this is a good brand but I just got it off Chemist Warehouse and, and she said to put peppermint oil on the temples and I did that and it actually says relieve headache symptoms and I think they worked well obviously they don't work like immediately like the medications but after a few hours i did find that it was getting better and oh yeah in terms of my skin somehow it's improving like like before i got sick like two days ago i would get a weepy face my arms would be itchy but from the day i got sick the itchiness stopped and my skin went overall very flaky and I can feel that it's going to come off and reveal that clear skin underneath it. So I didn't even wrap my arms yesterday um, at night because I just knew that it wasn't going to get itchy and I don't know can see but it's like really gone down like it's I don't know if you can see but it's not inflamed or anything like there's no broken skin it's pretty much clear and my face is really flaky at the moment but once this falls off it's gonna be nice and clear yeah, I'm gonna take it easy today and my boyfriend's coming home from his work trip tonight so that's exciting. 
I'm so much better now. And somehow my skin improved heaps while I was sick. Like, look at my arms. But yeah, my fever went down in a day, which I was surprised about. So today, me, my boyfriend and his brother, we decided to go to the beach and we searched up um, a beach nearby and drove there. Little did we know that it was a dog beach. We laughed so hard when we got there. No one was swimming except for the dogs. and But my boyfriend insisted he was going to swim, but didn't end up swimming because he saw the dogs um splashing in and like pooping on the sand and it was like yeah it was <laughs> it was funny <laughs> we then went to this um market that was happening really close to our home so we walked up there and saw this cute australian native plant display thing so i bought two for my grandparents hey guys so it's been like two days since i got sick i'm fine now i actually recovered in a day like my fever went down um and i'm much better today and um yeah, I was surprised that I was only sick for a day because I usually stay sick for like a couple more days usually. Like that was before TSW though. So maybe my immunity is pretty good. Um, and somehow my skin improved while I was sick. Like my face was really weepy and my, um, my mirror's dirty. Um, my arm my arms were really like like sore um before getting sick but somehow overnight while i was sick everything dried up and got flaky and now those flakes have fallen off and it's showing clear skin so i don't know if that if it's got to do anything with the sickness but yeah my skin improved while i was sick so now it's the update i'm gonna go um to my parents place with my boyfriend and his brother i'm gonna have dinner there tonight good morning today marks seven months of tsw a lot happened in the last month I got sick for the first time during TSW and um, and it's been like, what, a week since I've been sick and it did kind of regress a little bit after recovering. So you can see um, my face is a little bit scabby and crusty and my eyelids a little bit like scratched off and the most problematic area as you guys know is this chest area it just it was getting better and so i had this phase i had this phase where it was really really itchy and then i scratched my skin off and had really sore looking um scabs and like cracks and then that healed it went back and forth a little bit but it healed and then a few days ago it got really itchy again and i ended up scratching a little bit so it's back to being itchy again so this would probably form the scab again and heal but I'm just sick of this area and my arms have been doing pretty well like I said after being sick my arms healed as well so how it looks like you can see some areas like here looks like normal skin 
and then the crease is a bit dry and my wrist gets really itchy and my fingers as well um, and the biggest thing that I want to share with you guys is about my like mental state I guess I haven't been feeling the best mentally the past month has been pretty hard for me and when you look at my physical wellness it's improving a lot and when you compare it to my first few months of TSW compared to now you can see my skin's improved heaps but mentally I think I was doing better back then because I was hopeful and I was really like optimistic feeling pretty positive that I would heal um, in a year or so and I was just like ready to do this and um, I was motivated so even if I had really bad flares I had a really positive mindset and that's why I could get through it but after seven months of doing it, and I say seven months because it's seven months since being 100% story free, but I actually tapered off um, in January. So I was experiencing TSW from January. So technically 10 months into TSW, but seven months since coming off 100%. And, um, and that's a long time. And I think at the beginning, I was imagining myself pretty much healed by like the seven month mark. And towards the year mark, I would like heal pretty much completely. That was my expectation. But the reality is so different. Like, I have come so far, I know that, I can see that, and I'm grateful, but it's not my normal skin and going out looking like this, I'm still pretty insecure about how I look, so um, I think that expectation and the reality is clashing right now, and I've been feeling so down and just like hopeless and like I just I feel like I'm in a dark place and what's keeping me going is because I er, that's the only path I have because when if you think about like if you're doing something other than like skin conditions like for example, if you decide to study something, right? And you're so motivated and you're ready to do it, like, you're so into it, but a f like a few months in, you don't feel like doing it anymore and you wanna give up. And you could do that by walking away from it and just taking another path, quitting it. But with, the situation I'm in now, I can't do that even if I wanted to because okay maybe if I put back on steroids maybe I can quit and maybe I can walk away from the situation but I'm just leaving it for later like I have to deal with it anyway so I don't want to do that because I'm going to have to do it anyways and that's not walking away from it. That's just leaving it for later. So I quite literally don't have a way out of this other than to keep going. And that's what that's what's really hard for me right now because I literally don't have a way out. I I have to go. I have to just keep going. Like, I don't want to quit, but I've just had enough and I just don't want to do this anymore. But I don't have that choice. And I've been so, like, 
emotional lately. It's like I was on my period and I thought that's why I was being so emotional and crying and just being so, um, what's the word, um, introspective. But I finished my period and I'm still stuck feeling like this. So I, I cry every single day, almost every single day. I just question things like what like what's the point of doing everything like I don't know I'm just feeling so down I feel like I'm in a dark place right now but my boyfriend um, cheers me up he reassures me that it's gonna be okay and that I am healing it's just it's just a hard time for me like I tell everyone I'm okay I tell everyone that they're gonna be okay but in reality I've just had enough and I just I'm not okay And I think um, the thing contributing to this emotion is because a lot is happening in the next two, three weeks. My lease is ending in like two and a half weeks. So I, so we're going to Japan for three months and then after that, we're going to move to Melbourne. So in the three months of staying in Japan, we don't really have a home. And we're going to be like um, going to Airbnbs, going to my grandparents' house, my boyfriend's parents' house. We're going to be like all around. And, um, and then after that, we're not even going to come back to Sydney, like just we're actually we're gonna come back for a day and then we're gonna drive to Melbourne and like move there so a lot is happening I think that's a really big contributor to how I'm feeling right now because before like big changes I feel I get really like moody and just out of whack in general so I think that's really big as well and the fact that um, my grandparents in Japan don't know what I'm going through I haven't talked about it like if I tell them they'll be understanding but I haven't done that yet so I think that's another thing that is stressing me out I used to journal a lot and I used to do a lot of exercises and meditation I don't do any of that anymore so I think I noticed that I feel more positive and aligned and I feel like I have a really good energy when I do that when I have that in um, when I have that habit in place but I really should get back to doing it but yeah this past month has been a month like this hopefully the next month to come will be a lot better so yeah I'll I'll be filming my eight month nine and ten month updates in Japan usually I'd be so excited to go to Japan or anywhere overseas but I'm just not for the first time ever i'm just not feeling it it's probably because of my skin and i don't want to see anyone there like i have friends in japan but i just don't want to see them with this skin can't even do makeup i know it's not all i know it's not all about appearance but i'm just not feeling it. Things 
Uh, I'm looking a little bit dark right now. Hopefully things will change. Hopefully my energy will be a lot better in the next few weeks. Um, but this is just where I'm at right now. Mental health in TSW is so real. It's not, it's bigger than the physical pain. The physical pain is huge as well, but big, mental health is so much bigger than that. Um, yeah, so this was my seven month update. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in next video.